Yo, what's going on? 67 letters going to do. We're here doing a ranked 1v1. And uh, it's try our Thursday, which, you know, it really depends on who you are, on if you enjoy try our Thursday or not. Basically, what I, what I mean to say is it depends on if you are big into the whole try hard aspect of duel or if you're more just a casual a casual gamer um i believe it or not would consider myself more of a casual gamer um i, I play ranked don't get me wrong but i don't take it as seriously as like a lot of people you know like i don't do the meta strats all the time and i don't uh like bust my ass to take every advantage i just kind of play for fun and uh if it works out great if not you know oh well <laughs> oh well so that's kind of where i am with with being a tryhard um hopefully i still like wreck but we'll see i wonder who clears faster here probably him right Oh, actually about the same. Oh, he's that red buff. Oh no, he did blue. Oh, I'm missing all these autos. Alright. Alright, this is not bad. I want him to hit me so the minions go on him. So that I get all this pressure for free. All right, how many how many hives do I have down on? One, two, three, four, five, six. So I can place one more down, right? Because you can have seven. Or maybe you can only have six. You can have seven. One, two, three, four, five, six. I can place one more hive down without wrecking my my hive setup I got going on. Right now I'm chilling though. I don't really need a, a fifth high or seventh hive. But I guess what I could do just to have it is place it over here for this. So now my basically my entire map is built. And then if he breaks any of those hives, I just replace them. I simply just plop them back down where they were. This is a good hive setup. I have almost the entire map covered. And by the way, I know you're not supposed to go like first item transcendence much anymore, but I actually still enjoy it just because of the mana. Uh, I don't, do you win this? Oh yeah, you got, you got Equinox. You got the busted item. I forgot about that item and how good it is. I should have thought about that. Uh, am I dead here? Okay. Okay. I forgot that, that item is broken and I've made a terrible decision in not playing a character that can utilize Equinox. Damn it. Um... Okay, let me think. Hold on. Um. Damn, Equinox. I don't know. Do I just need to go anti-heal pretty early on? Is that the play? It might be the play. I'm going to be pretty far down, unfortunately, because Crowley's passive makes it so she gets extra gold and like XP per kill. She doesn't have her two up, so I don't really care about any damage she deals to me. Although these back shots fucking hurt.
Do I die here? I do not. Alright, so we get the red and we live. That's really good because I need the XP. My next item probably going to be Berserker Shield. Maybe a Frostbound if I can. I don't know if you can buy Frostbound on ranged characters. You cannot. Okay, so I'll just go Berserkers in. Um... I don't know, gang. I don't know, video gang gamers. It's kind of a spooky situation for me. Oh, well, that will clear wave. There's not much that the scepter is going to do for me, so I'm just going to go over here. There's also not much there. I guess we just back. Is it executioner time? Like anti-heal time? Probably. Probably. Gonna hurt. My auto attacks are not coming out. Honestly, it's pretty pretty infuriating that this patch came with probably the most game breaking bug of all, which is my auto attacks don't work. They just straight up do not work sometimes. There's nothing I can do about it. I really wish they would fix it. I even messaged people in the Discord. Not like, not like my personal Discord, but in like high res's Discord with all the staff members, and nobody responded to me. <laughs> so, so, I don't know, man. It doesn't have much mana to deal with anything here. Bro, he takes literally no damage. Oh, I'm dead. He's got no mana here. Hold on. I could definitely kill. Oh, wait, maybe not. Jesus Christ, dude. He just heals so much. I'm so dead. Yeah. Please. Damn it. Damn it. He's actually healing so much, man. Like every fight, he's healing like an additional 2k. I fucked up so bad not building Equinox. I mean, I can't, I can't build Equinox. I didn't fuck up not building Equinox. I fucked up picking a character that can't build Equinox. Because that item is so unbelievably broken. What a misplay. Man, I am, I am down bad right now. Bro, he hasn't even backed yet? How did that not hit? You gotta be kidding me.
You gotta be kidding me. Oh, let's go this. Um, and I can't... I guess I go Midgard. Midgard, not Midgard. Yeah, because he's gonna go XE Serrated. Oh, Jesus. I just realized how how strong Kali is right now. Equinox XE with Lifesteal on it and Serrated. Oh, wow. I'm surprised he gave me that. Yeah. Alright, that's actually really good for me. That is really good for me for two reasons. One, maybe red buff, and two, low HP for the next duel. My grows. And I have sprint up. I want to get these anti-heal stacks on as much as I can before he gets to me. All right, you're gonna you're gonna alt now. I should be okay. Don't take back shots. I'm going to alt him so he can't jump. No way he lives that. That's crazy. That's crazy. Oh, man. Oh, well. Oh, well. At least I proved with the concept that I could win a fight. Except now he is serrated. Fuck. <laughs> oh no. Oh no. What about the concept, man? The <laughs> fucking concept. Okay. I got good anti heal on him right now. Perfect. Perfect. The double defense plus the anti-heal. I know it's super cringy, but you know, you're fighting a Kali with Equinox. Sometimes you have to cringe. And by sometimes, I mean, literally, if you don't quin cringe, you're going to get owned. I might still be getting owned, but at least I'll get a Phoenix. <laughs> Never mind. I will not get a Phoenix. I thought I had more of a minion wave. Help. Okay, um, I think I'm going to go Odibo. But why Odibo, you might ask? Attack speed. Only reason. All right, get some anti-heal on him. Two stacks, three stacks, max anti-heal now. Oh, greedy. He's so greedy. He wanted to save his alt. He thought he could juke autos. He thought he could juke autos and save alt. Like juke autos until he can jump away. Oh, that's so greedy, dude. Nice. Good damage there. He is blink, by the way. I'm actually dead. I'm just gonna run all the way away. All right. I'm kind of terrified, but also I like. There's a part of me that's like, okay, Sam, you're you're like. You're, you've done it. You're out of there. You've successfully gotten out of Kali's death trap called early game equinox plus serrated. But also, 
Maybe he just kills me. I don't know. I'm dead. Okay. I do have shell still. Okay. Didn't matter. Ouch. Oh, you know what? Kins is actually shredding me. I, did, I thought Kins was a stupid ass item because like I'm AMC. I'm not going to have a lot of HP, but I have two items that both give me HP. 400 total. So I guess it makes sense. It's a good item. I didn't think about it. Ah, uh, shit. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. I'm not out of it, obviously. I don't know, man. I'm just going to chase him. Um, I really don't want to back here because I want... I, feel I want his Phoenix, but I have to back there. Because if I don't, then I, I don't have a finished Silver Branch. Oh my god. He went Equinox, Frostbound, Kali. Oh my god. He wants it more than I do, for sure. He wants the win so much more than I do. I don't even know if I don't even know if I can win this game, to be honest with you. I have no escape. He built move speed. I I just I just get owned. And he has blink. I don't know. I mean, my damage is a lot better now, but who knows, dude. I feel like he's just going to get Bull Demon. And I just have to let him. I just have to let him. Oh, God. My influence grows. I'm going to have to backdoor, I think, in order to win this game. I'm cringe. I'm cringe. And the only way I, I don't want to fight, dude. He's got Equinox. He's got Frostbound. He's got Serrated. He's got the best items in the game. And he's, he's Blink Kali. What am I supposed to do, dude? I just have to back door. I can't run from it. I've, I've won. I've won. Oh, man. I'm, I'm ugly. Okay. Welcome back. I have been informed by my wife that I am, in fact, not ugly. But, uh, but backdooring is a scumbag thing to do. She didn't tell me that. Um, but I'm telling you that, but I mean, okay. Can, can we just be honest? Look, it's try hard Thursday. I have to play to win. It's the whole point of try hard Thursday. If I'm not playing to win, why play try hard Thursday? You don't, you, you just do normal videos. You're not playing to win. You just do normal videos. So what am I doing? I'm playing to win because I have to play to win. And so what I do against Equinox, Frostbound, Blink, Kali, I backdoor because I'm AMC. I have... He's slow immune in his in his ultimate. So what the fuck is my three gonna do? He has freaking frostbound. So my sprint isn't gonna get me away from him. And then like like oh man, I had to. I had to. You guys understand, right? 
He was better than me. I had to, man. Fuck. I'm deleting the whole video. Fuck this. I'm over it. I'm not uploading it. Everyone's going to make fun of me. Oh, Sam comes back from a break. All he does back door now. What piece of shit? What piece of shit? Uh, so hypocritical. He, put, he, he complains about back door and they go, he goes ahead and does it. Yeah, but when I, when I complain about back door, it's because they can fight me. It's because I'm offering a fight and they're not taking it, even though they could win it. They backdoor me because they want to, not because they can't win a fight. I backdoor because I have to. It's different. Uh, oh, my. Come on, man. I'm dead. I killed myself. Why did I jump on an Osiris? Oh, no, I didn't. He backed up. My autos. Poo, poo, poo. Blop, pop, pop. Nice. We got a horrific too. I'm just gonna back and sell potions here. I'll just sell potion and get Equinox. Always <clears throat> He's also going Equinox. Equinox Osiris, to be fair, is extremely good. Like, extreme. I have hair in my necklace. I keep pulling them out. It's probably my own hair because I have long hair, but still. Back shots. Dude, Equinox is such a good item. Um, It is better on Osiris than it is on Kali because AoE autos, but... I don't know. Kali is built in lifesteal, so it kind of works really well on her, too. Because if you're, like... So basically what Equinox does it is, is it amplifies your inherent abilities of sustain. Like... Osiris has an inherent ability ability to sustain because he has AoE auto attacks, so you're getting extra Equinox procs off of it. Kali has an in inherent ability to sustain because when you do something, you get life steal, and when you jump on them, you get healing and all this other stuff. So like, it just kind of works together. <clears throat> so I could see it being like that. Um, but I don't know whose is better here. Technically, if it's just fighting one-on-one, -on -one, mine is better because he's not getting the AoE bonus. Uh, however, he's going to try to pick fights in waves. That's the whole point. Like, if you if you go back to <clears throat> the Tuesday's video I did, which was just Osiris Tilt with a Bologna game sprinkled in because Osiris got banned. Uh, oh my god. What what an angry what an angry lad. Hello. Okay. I'm willing I'm willing to go fisticuffs with you. Okay. Well, do I get this for free? Nice. That He's tragic. That's tragic. That's a that's an annoying scenario. Looks like I'll benefit from he lived with one HP, but you know what? It's okay. I got his blue buff, which is fine, and I'll be able to go get his red buff right now. So, I think we're chilling. I think we're chilling. In fact, it's probably more beneficial for me to get scepter, so I have more presence over fighting. I know I get stunned here, but I don't think... Oh, actually, he's got... He's got Uber Equinox, because we're fighting in a wave. But I have ult. Nice. Nice. 
He did get the uh, the scepter, but that's all right. Man, when we're fighting in a wave, he really outshines me, though. I have to admit, like, I I do not like I do not like fighting him in waves. He shits on me, and it's probably the opposite for him, right? Like, if I if we're fighting outside of a wave, he probably feels like I shit on him because I have extra life steal. And I have like extra pen built in my kit and shit like that, so this he's my target. So we both have our strengths and our game plans are literally the exact opposite. I should not fight in a wave, and I'm still going to because I'm overconfident and uh not exactly like the smartest player alive. And he's probably gonna try his hardest to fight in the wave by any means necessary. Oh, he got Phalanx. Ooh, that's a good-ass item. That's a very, very good item. He is he is solo lane building me. All right, don't let him give me back shots. He horrific me, but we're not in a wave. It's okay. We're not in a wave. His three is down, which means he does not win this. You do not win this. Okay, nice. The scepter is mine. We're still not in a wave, so it's okay. I mean, we're in his wave, but he doesn't, he doesn't life steal off his own wave, does he? Also, he has no mana, so even if he is life stealing AoE, it doesn't really matter. I, I think he might just die here, to be honest with you. Nice. Nice. All right. Um, is that enough for straight? It's 1900, right? Yeah, let's go. Let's go. Oh, and I'm going to go blink. If you haven't noticed yet, uh, I'm going to do the same build the other guy did. Because <laughs> I realized while getting my ass kicked that he's smarter than me. And I'm going to need to try that out. That's why I backdoored it. <laughs> Oh my gosh. All right, next item is going to be Executioner, so I get that sweet, sweet anti-heal on the Equinox. And I am actually going to pick up blue instead of red. I know red spawns soon. I kind of don't care about it. I'd rather have blue buff. Mana is more of an issue than damage. Oh, you're actually doing it. I didn't expect that. Ouch. I've been stunned. Um. Yeah, sure. I was walking and annoy him a little bit. I don't want him to back because he has no mana. So he like I can do the same thing that I did to him last fight. Again, like I, I just, I just walk in and kill him probably because he, he can't, he can't play the video game. All right. I got horrific. Uh, now I'm pretty sure you die. Yep. Yep. I get to do the exact same thing that I did before where I just use my alt and kill him at the tower when he has no mana. Because I stopped his back while a wave was coming in. Nice. All right, see you guys next game. Yo, what's up, boys? Game number three, and I am playing a little bit of Hades. Because all these gods are back and open. By the way, if you didn't know, uh, I don't know if I've mentioned it or not. I feel like I definitely should have. But maybe I I kind of blanked out and I didn't. Um. Oh, my nose. You <laughs> you Uh, <coughs> um, the bans for last patch was everything from season one or from like the beta to season five was closed. Like they were all banned. And this patch 
Everything from season five onward is banned. Unfortunately, if you uh, if you don't like Try Hard Duel, uh, all the great gods came out in season one to five for a duel, like Poseidon, Freya, Kronos, Hades, Uller, Scotty, Fastet, Onher, Anubis. Like every single good god you can think of came out, like in the, in the early seasons. So, um, so it's a little tough. It's a little tough for, did you do my blue? You did do my blue, you freakazoid. How dare you? How dare you? Oh Lord, I'm going to get punched. Oh Lord. Uh, what if I just altered you, though? Ah! Nice. Nice. He went for it. You gotta respect that, man. You gotta respect that. Alright. Get the Bancrofts. Get the Mana Potion. Is he going... Beat stick first item? For real? No, surely that's the Jotuns. What am I thinking? Obviously that's the Jotuns. <clears throat> I mean, I guess it could be a beat stick. I am going, I am Hades and I am Bancroft's. Beat stick might be better than Jotuns, although it would make him not have any cooldown, which would kind of suck. Yeah, he just stuck with the Jotuns. Ouch. All right. Let's just get rock, I guess. So you know how people keep saying that Equinox is a Loki item? Um, I just want to say, I don't know if I fully agree with that because, well, two reasons. One, it doesn't affect abilities. Like you don't get extra damage off your abilities. It's literally only auto attacks and you're not getting much damage out of Loki's auto attacks, no matter what you play with him, right? Like your main damage source is going to be from the tick damage from your one, your alt and your three. I guess with Hydras, I don't know, with Hydras, you could get some, some gnarly, some gnarly auto cancels in there, but even still, you're only autoing like two or three times. So you're not getting a lot of Equinox value. You want your autos to hit hard, not often. You know what I mean? I think that's the main, I think that's probably like the biggest misconception about, oh, let's get your beads again or your, or your ult. That's worked. That's the biggest misconception with Equinox. Everyone's like, oh my God, Loki will be so good with it. But you really, like I said, as Loki, you don't want a lot of auto attacks. You just want high damage auto attacks. And uh, Equinox doesn't do well unless you're auto attacking a lot of times. You know, Bologna, Osiris, Kali, like I've showcased uh, before, it just kind of, it just kind of fits that play style really well. Nemesis is really good with it too, because Nemesis, you, you normally auto attack a lot as well. You can go ability-based Nemesis, which is really fun, and ability-based Kali, which is really fun, in which case you wouldn't build Equinox, but um, either way, it's pretty fun. I wonder if he got his blue. I'd imagine, I'd imagine so. Yeah, he did. I'll basically never be able to alt him between him having beads and an alt. But I'm slowly taking this tower down. Oh my god, big damn. All 
not bad. If he ults me here, I think I just shell ult. He's not going to. He's not going to. I want him to fight me. I don't think he will. Oh, there's his bead, so now he's dead. Oh, he's dead. I don't think I get his Phoenix here, because I don't do nearly enough damage, but... I heal a ton off wave. He might... He might have ult up. Actually, if he has ult up, I might die here. Oh god, never mind. Holy shit, I just healed so much. <laughs> Alright. Let's go Typhons. Tier 2 Breastplate. Let's go Blink here. Oh man, I think I left my hair tie in the bathroom. Uh, doofus. Doofus. I'm using these smaller hair ties. Because it, it fits better on my head. Hello? Pretty sure you're dead here. You got zero mana. I'm just jumping around. I'm just waiting for cool. I'm not BMU, I swear to God. I'm just waiting for cooldowns. That looked really BM, but I was just waiting for cooldowns, I swear. Um, he really is not dead very long, huh? He has no bees, no ult, so I think he dies here, maybe. Yep. Yep, he dies. The Phoenix falls. Uh, I'm going to get the, the Titan over here, so when the next minion wave spawns, I can group the minion wave up on the Titan. Dealing massive damn. Boom! Now he does have Equinox, so a one-on-one -on -one battle might not work out for me because I have 2,000 gold and he has, you know, like I said, Equinox. I mean, he also got some defense. It's going to be a Pestilence. I'm kind of battling right now whether if I want to just get Polly and try to end this game quickly or if I want to go Breastplate and just let the cooldowns, you know, take on a mind of their own I could kind of go the best of both worlds and go mirrored in like right in the middle get a little bit of cooldown and a little bit of damage let's do that let's go right in the middle and see where this leads me so he does have beads up now I'm pretty sure he has beads and alt up now so I need him to really overcommit on me if I'm gonna be able to kill him chances are though i don't need to kill him i got fire minions against a loki who didn't build power he built like auto attack because of equinox um so he's not going to be clearing wave very easy not to mention i'm going to be healing my my front line like all that damage he dealt useless now what i do is i walk in i wait for him to alt so i'm cc immune there's his beads and now he has to alt away. Or he just hit that's fine too. Now he alts. No. Alright, GG. 
958. Let's go, baby. I will see you guys in the next game. Let's go. Keep it rolling. Yo, what up, video game players? I'm back. I'm sorry this game is starting like so late into it. Um, I am coaching somebody who is new to smite in the background in between my matches i'm like i'm loading up his stream and i'm, and I'm coaching him it is chat uh <laughs> while while just like waiting for the game to start up so it's a little weird uh you know my, my startup times are a little a little off pace to normal but it's okay Yo, he just blinked. <laughs> he just blinked. Why'd you blink? You're dead. Oh my god. Yo, Kronos is so good. <laughs> I love this character, man. I wish I could play more often. It's a shame that he's always banned. I'm not going to get my ult. I don't think I need it yet. I missed. Nice. Little double, little double kill. Little double kill action. Grab the XP camp here. We'll back and we'll hit the Bancrofts. <clears throat> We'll also get a chalice of healing. Why not? He's also going Bancrofts. He also started chalice. All right. Let's see. Get these up. I don't think I'm in any danger to die. To be honest with you. I did get my alt, but, uh, I got it just kind of for prosperity's sake. I really thought he would have juked. I also didn't think he'd walk at me there. This guy's got some meta strats. That did 200 dam. That one singular ability did 200 dam. All right, <clears throat> let's get rock. Ouch. I'm pretty sure I'm pretty sure that he can't do anything to me. Yeah, like I just took all those tower shots and then I made it even with a single ability. Okay, I missed. So we're both backing. I'm gonna go... Typhons. I was going to go some attack speed and then I realized what I can do instead of building attack speed is I can just build Typhons and then spend 600 gold on the Bancroft upgrade after to get some attack speed. This Typhons is going to give me a bunch of damage. I mean, Bancrofts and Typhons combined is going to give me a lot of damage. Already clearing the whole way with my one. I'm gonna say already, but I'm level nine. Hey, get away! Okay, well, you do not win this. Um. <clears throat> well, there's two things wrong with what I did. To be honest with you, I definitely did not need to beat that. I just I. I beat it just because if I get tossed up in the air there, he might be able to wiggle his way out of there, which obviously I don't want. Hello.
All right. Oh, his tower is down. Which feels pretty good for me. Uh, and I am maxing my two, so I get more attack speed out of it, by the way. Because I'm not building attack speed, so I'm, I'm getting attack speed out of my two. And, you know, the... the Why do I want to call it a relic? The glyph. It's called a glyph, not a relic. You get out of here. You get out of here, pumpkin. It's probably going to alt me here. Nice. All right. That was a five minute game. I got time for one more. Let's slap up one more. Yo, what up, boys? Nothing like ending a tryhard Thursday off with an Anubis mirror match. Old school smite, Bancroft's lifesteal damage. I got, I have seven stars. He's got five stars. We are some Anubis players, dude. Me and this guy are Anubis players. This is going to be good. Oh, this is going to be a good one. Should I invade him? Just because I know I can. Also, no way he starts a rap, right? If I invade him and then I 3-1 and he wraps my one and I don't pre-beads it, I literally lose the game because he'll have blue buff. I'll have no beads, low mana, no buffs, and more than likely lower health. I will lose the game if I don't pre-beads this correctly. And yet, I'm still willing to give it a shot. <laughs> Where is he? Did he go to red buff? Oh no, he's just standing there. Oh no, he's going to blue. Nice, he didn't start with his three, baby. Or his two, I mean. Up. Okay, I'm kind of getting owned. Now I have this. Okay, never mind. I'm still getting owned. Um Alright, well, my health pot's gone. I can't do that. No committing. No committing there. That's all right. If I go get the minis from the, from the, this, oh, they're already gone. Oh, shit. All right. Well, there's my beads down. He's okay with that because what that does is it gives him kill opportunity for level five. Um, but I'm okay with that because what it does is make him lose XP and gold and give me pressure to not only get um, one buff, but two buffs here. Sure, he can have red. I don't really care. Um... So what I want to do here, now that uh, now that he's going to go for red buff, is I want to bait a fight. I want him to pick up red buff and then in his brain think, oh, I can kill this guy now. I have red buff. He has no beads. Let's full commit. I want him to do that because he can't. He doesn't actually have uh, Bancroft's finish. So any kind of full commitment he does to me will be null and void. Or I guess I could just kill him with just aiming the alt. He actually didn't get red either. Or maybe he assumed I got red when he back. It is a fair assumption. You know, like if you're just gonna like, why would I pick blue buff over red buff? The reason I pick blue buff over red buff is what I explained, by the way, because he's not going to have enough for uh, he's not going to have enough for Bancroft's 
Therefore, with him having red buff, it kind of lulls him into this fake sense of security where he can ult me and kill me. Now that he does have Bancrofts, he 100% can kill me. So I actually need to be a little more careful. But I have two levels over him right now, so I should be chilling. Even with him having Bancrofts, my two level lead should be more than enough to, to do what's necessary. We'll pop the Horn Shard. Maybe he dies here. All right. Oh. I mean, definitely not worth it. Let's be honest. Definitely not worth it. However, asserting my dominance makes it worth it i've just walked into your into your tower ulted you dead and died for no reason there's nothing on the map that i get for that you don't lose any xp i don't gain any xp in fact i probably lose xp for that and you get the bounty of two of uh, you get the 30 percent bounty for killing me but you know what i did get i'm in his head and that's more valuable than anything Oh shit. Oh shit. Oh shit. There we go. Oh, that actually did good damn. It blew up. The blue is not up. Oh shit. Nice. Nice. There's no way he was expecting me to just like rip the alt out the gate there. All right. Not bad. He's going Typhons. I'm going Pestilence. I think, I think Pestilence is a much better build here. Like build path here. Because not only am I going to be tanky. I'm going to be able to get that 50% anti-heal on him, which is huge. That's all right. No worries. I can have my back to him because I don't think he can kill me. Even if he full combos me here, I, I'm pretty sure I live. All right. Decent clear. Starting the Typhons next. That's another thing that's definitely worth mentioning is even though he's got Typhons and he life steals more than me, if he's not life stealing, if he's life stealing half of what he should be, he's still life stealing less than me. So I'm tanky and he's life stealing less than me. I can just kind of, I can just kind of run at him. Like I should never be scared of him realistically. In fact, I should still never be scared of him. I do want this blue buff. Nice. And now I have enough gold for a full Typhons on that back and a Blink. Blink is kind of a dumbass relic to buy. It's it's kind of troll because Aegis is obviously better. 
but Blink is definitely more fun. Hello. Perfect. Perfect. Now we get the Phoenix. Just kidding. We get the game. I got Typhons. He got Thorns, which actually isn't a bad play because Thorns has a mitigation on it. Um, 15% mitigation, which if you pop Thorns before getting comboed, it actually just saves you 15% of your health. So it's pretty nice. Um, It's not going to deal much damage back, but it's a good way to just survive. I hope you guys enjoyed this tryout Thursday. If you did, make sure to like, comment, and subscribe. And until next time, y'all, peace.